Stable Diffusion 3? Really? Here I was having a pretty chill week. It was calm, it was relaxed, and then I started to do a video on Stable Cascade. I thought that was the most cutting edge thing that was gonna be announced this week, and then, right when I'm in the middle of filming that, Stable Diffusion 3 gets dropped from Stability AI. Let's jump in and look at it. And here it is in all of its glory. Now this isn't accessible to the public just yet. It's still just a preview. They're posting some teaser shots all over the place. And here's essentially what it says. Announcing Stable Diffusion 3 in early preview, our most capable text-to-image model with greatly improved performance in multi-subject prompts, image quality, and spelling abilities. And you can see right on these images on the homepage, they're really pushing that text creation ability, which has been something that's difficult for models since the beginning of Stable Diffusion. But the real big news here is that multi-subject prompt adherence. That's really what matters here. Think about it from an artist's perspective or somebody trying to actually do a creative job using these tools. If you're not able to specifically say, hey, I want a red apple, it's gotta be on the right-hand corner of the desk. I want a wooden desk with a chair that's pushed in, and I want there to be a plant on the left-hand side of the desk just next to a bottle of red wine. If you can't actually suggest all of those pieces and then get them coherently placed within an image, then the tools really aren't anything more than something to create pretty pictures with and some internet memes. And up until now, kind of the state of the art of this has been Dolly 3. Dolly 3, because it's built off of this transformer model, it has all the information of an underlying large language model, Chad GPT. It's able to really follow those text prompts nicely and come out with some really high quality images. So it's one of the big things that Stability AI is really pushing here. And they claim that Stable Diffusion 3 is outperforming everything else that's come before it. We're gonna take a look at some more example images. We're gonna drop those into Dolly 3, Stable Diffusion XL. I'm gonna even try Stable Cascade since I've got a working version of that. So here we go, on the left-hand side of the screen, we've got the Stability AI images. On the right hand side of the screen, we've got Pixel Dojo. This is my personal project with Pixel Dojo. You can jump on in here and you can actually use all these different models all in one place. So you can run Stable Diffusion using Stability AI SDXL, Juggernaut XL, Anime XL, even SDXL Lightning, which just came out from the team over at TikTok. On top of that, you can chat with large language models. You can even generate Dolly 3 images, even Stable Diffusion video. In this case, we're gonna to stick to Stable Diffusion and let's take a look at just SDXL specifically. So the prompt for this image is epic anime artwork of a wizard atop a mountain at night, casting a cosmic spell in the dark sky that says Stable Diffusion 3 made out of colorful energy. Let's drop that into SDXL, see what comes back. And this is what we get. It's a beautiful image, it's high quality, it looks really nice. I like the kind of cosmic waves coming out of the top of it, but, it doesn't adhere to the prompt. It says a wizard on top of a mountain. It follows that part. Night sky casting a cosmic spell into the dark sky that says stable diffusion three made out of colorful energy. And you can see that last part, it just completely falls off. It doesn't generate anything like that. Let's see if Dolly three fares any better. And even Dolly three, still a cool image, looks beautiful. You can see the mountains, the wizard, that dark energy coming out of there, but it almost looks like an S, but you don't get any words. It's again, not able to generate that stable diffusion three, the actual words out of the energy in the sky. And now let's try this in the other latest model from Stability AI, Stable Cascade. And if you wanna know how to install Stable Cascade, it's fairly difficult and time consuming, unless you're one of my Patreon subscribers. I've actually got a one-click installer and a one-click launcher that you can check out right over here. I'll have a link in the description for that. And here's what that'll look like. It's running on Gradio. And when you click run, let's see what it comes back with. Okay, not too bad. This came back with a wizard on top of a mountain. You've got that energy in the sky. And it actually says stable diffusion. It doesn't say stable diffusion three, and it's not doing it out of the energy out of the top, but this is at least the closest of all the systems we've tested. And for the next one, this one's particularly challenging. Think about all that's happening in this picture. So the prompt is three transparent glass bottles on a wooden table, the one on the left has red liquid and the number one. The one on the middle has blue liquid in the number two, and the one on the right has green liquid and the number three. There's a lot going on here, and you have to understand spatial awareness and positioning, liquid colors, all that stuff. Really have to pay attention to the prompt in order to get this right. So let's first try this in SDXL. 
and it gets it completely wrong. You kind of get numbers on the bottles, sort of. It's like an upside down I, a one, sort of a three-ish. The colors are all wrong. About the only thing it got right is that it's glass bottles on a table, but everything else it sort of mashed up. Will Dolly 3 fare any better? Let's check it out. Okay, Dolly, this is really, really good. I love the frosted look of the glass, really aesthetically pleasing here. So you've got the wooden table, that looks good. You've got the one on the red, two with the blue, and three with a greenish liquid. I would say Dolly kind of nailed this. Pretty impressive. Let's check out Stable Cascade, see how it fares. Much better job on the text, on the bottles, on the liquids, but still the wrong order, the wrong numbers on the wrong bottles. It says 323, three. it's got the red on the right instead of the blue in the middle, it's completely wrong but a little bit better at least than the result from SDXL on the text generation front. The prompt for this one is a horse balancing on top of a colorful ball in a field with green grass and a mountain in the background. Stable Diffusion 3 comes back with exactly that. Let's see what Dolly comes back with. Well, that's interesting. So it's a green field, it's a bunch of balls, so it looks like it's, it is colorful, so I'll say this, it sort of mashed up a bunch of individual balls colorfully, and then you got a horse really awkwardly sort of standing on top of it, or not really standing, but just sort of sprawled out on top of it. Mountains in the background, overall pretty good adherence to the prompt, but definitely a sort of weird result. For SDXL, not even close. The adherence to the prompt really isn't there. You've got sort of this ball that's, I don't know, is that it looks like almost the shape of a continent on it. It's colorful, I'll give it that. And then the horse looks like it's sort of behind it, sort of on top of it. You've got a mountain and a green field, but it seems like Stable Diffusion XL sort of just falls off after the first couple words in a prompt and really loses it from there. The Stable Cascade is somewhat between Dolly and Stable Diffusion XL. You've got a colorful ball, you've got a green field, you've got a mountain in the background, the horse just sort of precariously floating in the sky which, you know, sort of isn't possible. This has to be one of my favorites because it's so specific. It's a weird image, don't get me wrong, but it's very specific. The prompt is a painting of an astronaut riding a pig, wearing a tutu, holding a pink umbrella, on the ground next to the pig is a robin bird wearing a top hat, in the corner of the words, stable diffusion. And you can see it nailed all of them. Now, obviously we don't know if these images are cherry picked. I assume to a degree that they are, but the fact that it nailed every single element of the picture, really impressive. Let's see how close we get on SDXL. I'm not holding out hope that it's anything more than maybe a picture with maybe an astronaut and sort of the ground underneath him. But let's see. Oh man, this is super weird. Okay, so we've got this sort of astronaut bird. There is an umbrella, so I'll give it that. It is riding on a pig. And I will say the pig looks much cooler than the one in the left image. Now this bird down here, I don't know what the deal is with that. It's like another pig bird and then something going on over here. There's no words, there's no top hat. It's really missing a lot of the other elements just like we've seen in the other pictures. Now if higher hopes are Dolly because it's generally better at picking up all those references in a prompt. Let's see what it comes back with for this. Okay, this is pretty interesting. So it's not quite what I expected. You've got a pig, wonderful looking pig. You've got an astronaut riding on top of it. She is wearing a pink tutu. She's holding an umbrella. Although the umbrella looks like it's going through her hair, which would be impossible with the spacesuit and helmet on. You've got this bird floating on a stick, it looks like. But then you do have another bird down here with a top hat on. So you can see it picked up most of the prompt pieces, which is pretty good. It did miss the text, so you don't get stable diffusion anywhere on the image, but I've got to say this is the closest to the quality of Stable Diffusion 3. And for Stable Cascade, all right, not as bad as some of the others. It's got a pig, he's got an astronaut wearing a tutu, there's an umbrella, there's no bird with the top hat, but it does have stable in the bottom, so it's sort of picked up that you should put text somewhere in the corner, which is not quite fully coherent. So just for fun, let's put this into Midjourney V6. Midjourney's really good at adhering to a prompt, but it also has really high aesthetics. It's gonna probably be the best looking image of the group, but we'll see if it's as high quality as far as the adherence. And here are the four images. You can see it has most of the aspects. So this one down in the bottom left has a top hat on a bird. 
It's got the pig, the tutu on sort of on top of or underneath the astronaut. It's holding the umbrella and it says stable diffusion. That one almost gets it, although he's riding backwards, so it doesn't understand sort of how things should be placed completely. And the other one on the right, also riding backwards, but it did get the bird in the top hat, the tutu, astronaut, the umbrella, stable diffusion at the top, although it's said in a corner, so that's not quite right. All of them have writing though, and it looks like most of the elements. So I've got to say Mid Journey looks really good. I love the artwork, the overall aesthetic of this image. It's just, again, not quite as good at following the prompt as Stable Diffusion 3. And as I mentioned, this isn't available to everyone yet. You can join the waitlist over here on Stability AI News, Stable Diffusion 3. I'll have a link down so you can do that. You've got some other examples of images here. A lot of them, again, just sort of look at the text generation abilities and its ability to sort of follow those prompts. Now, the Stable Diffusion 3 suite of models, so this is telling me that there's going to be not one, but multiple models that come out of this, range from 800 million to 8 billion parameters. So there are going to be some monstrous models out of this. 8 billion parameters is quite a lot. This approach aims to align with our core values and democratize access, providing users with a variety of options for scalability and quality to best meet their creative needs. Stable Diffusion 3 combines diffusion transformer architecture. That's a new type of architecture for these diffusion models that more aligns with what you've seen from Sora and the OpenAI team for their new video generation. It also has flow matching. Flow matching is a little bit different than what's been done before. If you've watched my video on how Stable Diffusion works, you know that it works in steps. You go from a completely static image and you step through it iteratively one piece at a time until you reach that final image. Flow matching sort of skips a lot of that and it just directionally sort of flows through the process, skipping that individual step and getting to what it seems like is a higher quality result. It's also a lot faster and more efficient to train, which is going to be a big deal for the fine tuning community or the aftermarket of Stable Diffusion. And yes, I'll say today that Stable Diffusion 3 isn't quite on par with, say, Dolly 3 as far as the aesthetic ability or Mid Journey V6, but it's going to be an open model. It's going to be open source. You can download it. You'll be able to fine tune it, train it, build Lora's on top of it, all the amazing stuff that we've come to see from the open source community. And if you saw some of the debacle with Google Imogen over the last few days, you'll see why that's so important. These companies that are in charge of these big models have the responsibility of keeping them as open and usable as possible. Google really dropped the ball there. And that's why open source is so vital and important to the community. At the end of the day, I don't want an AI model that's trying to align me. I want an AI model that I can use freely, openly, and in an uncensored way. So thank you so much, Stability AI, for putting these models out there and making them accessible to people like us. And as soon as Stable Diffusion 3 is accessible to the broader audience, I'm going to put it up on pixeldojo.ai, so be sure to check that out. And if you want to check out Pixel Dojo AI, YouTube 50 is a discount code you can use, 50% off your first month. Thank you so much to all of my supporters and subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. Hit that like button. It really helps me out. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. And remember, all your tech are belong to us. We'll see you next time. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town. Breaking down AI, wearing the crown. From basics to complex, never let you down. All your tech AI, earning the renown.